Thank you, Eric. Uh, very happy to be here at MIF. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. As Eric said, my name is Greg Davis. I'm the president and CEO of Sun Peak Metals. We're a TSX venture listed company. We're based in Vancouver, and we're focused on exploration and discovery of copper, gold, VMS rich deposits in Ethiopia. Forward looking statements. Um, as Eric mentioned, our team has a long history in the region. Essentially, our team has been together for over 25 years. In the last 20 years, our focus has been uh, East Africa, focused on the Arabian Nubian Shield, VMS systems uh, on the west side of the Red Sea. Uh, 20 years ago, we comprised the exploration team for Nevsun Resources at Bisha. Uh, we made a very significant discovery. We, we applied modern techniques, which worked out very well. And eight years later, it went into production. We applied the same techniques and the same rocks and uh, duplicated our success. We uh, defined six deposits, four of them we took the feasibility and acquired a mining license and then in 2016 uh, we were taken out by a large Chinese SOE. So our team, the co-founders or the founders of the team is myself, Scott Ansel, David Dowd. We've worked together for 25 years. We also have David Oram, um, co-founder of Sandstorm Gold as a chairman. The rest of our team is uh, well-rounded, uh, notable names and mining leaders in, in, in the industry. So a little about where we are. We're in the, what's called the Arabian Nubian Shield, and you can see it in the gold coloring. It's on the west side and the east side of the Red Sea. Um, Bisha, and then Asmara Project just to the, to the east right here. Um, after the sale of the Asmara Project to the Chinese company, we decided that the trends go north-south. Why don't we take a look down here? Um, so we crossed the border, and we were quite pleased to see the obvious, the same rocks, the same trends, the same systems, and the same mineraliza mineralization, and so we made a decision to proceed. Um, since then, since we, we have over 1,000 square kilometers, we've applied all the, uh, the, the usual techniques um, in exploration, starting with prospecting and mapping, soil geochem, airborne VTEM geophysics, ground geophysics, and we did an initial drill program in uh, early 2020 uh, on three targets. We had great success and we were shut down to COVID for COVID purposes. Um, we were ramping up, getting ready to do a major program in late 2020 when unfortunately uh, uh, civil war broke out and we had to suspend all our operations. So in the, in the years since November 2020 to now, uh, we uh, suspended in November of, of 2020. We made a decision to keep all our employees on staff, which we're very proud of. We have 35 employees. Um, although we were not able to operate, we kept our team together and we put a lot of effort into uh, keeping our team safe as we could. We provided shelter, food, and funds for them in, uh, in, in Tigray, in, in uh, Ethiopia. In November 22, the war ended. Uh, it, peace returned and last year we beginning in January of 2023 throughout the year we did numerous trips meeting with stakeholders throughout the country in the capital of Addis in the provincial state capital of McKelly and in Sherry and around local administration around our project area uh, and we made a checklist on items we needed to see happen before we could return to work uh, a long list um, going forward one year that list has now all been satisfied uh, force majeure has ended on our three of our licenses and we announced in early February that we are indeed returned to work this year, um, in including drilling. Corporate responsibility, we're proud of our track record. We start from day one. I think we've clearly demonstrated that and it's something that we take very serious every step of the way. So collectively, our projects are known as the Sherry, Sherry Project. It's um, over 1,000, well, 1,400 square kilometers in Tigray in northern Ethiopia. The theme for this year, for 2024, will be new discoveries. Uh, we have developed targets before the conflict. They're still there. Um, we are extremely confident that we'll make uh, several new discoveries, like Bishas and Embaderos, which we've seen north of the border. Now, this represents our project area. We've got uh, 1,400 square kilometers. From uh, the southwest to the northeast is about 50 kilometers. These trends come down oriented like this. They cross our Terror and Adidero and Neficet licenses, and they continue down to Meli. In this area in between, there's a, a basalt rock cover. So they're there, but they're deeper, and uh, they're, they're much harder to find. But in this area, we've developed numerous high-priority targets. We drilled Keel, Argyll, and Meli early in 2020. We got great results. 
But our focus for 2024 is new discoveries. And you see Inda, Terror, Hamlo, Anguda North, Meta, and Gebet. They all have the very same uh, characteristics, same anomalies, and um, th th they're all targets that we'll be uh, testing over the next year. Uh, just quickly here, the, the, the holes we did drill in early 2020, we drilled three targets. We had great results. We drilled uh, uh, six, six and seven on the different uh, targets. The best results were 37 meters of 2.4 grams gold and 2.4% copper. So it has the material in the system, what we're looking for. And, uh, and, um, but going forward, I'll just take you back in time here. This shows Bisha. The reason I'm showing this is because we're seeing the same uh, the same environment, the same signatures, and uh, exactly as we saw in our past. So in early 20, 2003 at Bisha, we were drilling this zone here, we're at outcrop, this white ellipsoid, uh, and getting high-grade gold, high-grade copper results. But it didn't look very deep. So we brought in detailed ground gravity, which shows the contrast between the mineralization zone and the country rock. The mineralized zone is very dense, and so it clearly worked to find the zone that we were drilling very, very clear. But as the gravity moves south, we lost the zone. And as the drilling moves south in Q1 of 2003, the zone kind of thinned and disappeared. But then in May 2003, this anomaly appeared. We immediately moved the drill 500 meters into a blind target and hit 164 meters of massive sulfide, high-grade gold, copper, and zinc. And that's when Bisha became Bisha. Then moving forward, we managed another company called Sunridge. We applied the same technique. Sorry. Um, and this was the Gaussian that had been known. Gaussian is the surface expression of a VMS. This had been known for decades and drilled by four parties. We applied the same techniques to find this, and that became the 85 million ton deposit. So what we're seeing now, this is our current projects. We're seeing the same geophysical signatures, the same outcrop. And in this situation, this is an area on our Terra license that we first identified as VMS trends. We did soil geochem. It's about five or six kilometers from uh, left to right. And we identified strong soil, uh, copper and zinc in the soils. We then did an airborne uh, electromagnetic VTEM survey and identified two very strong conductors here on what we call Anguda North and here on Terra. We then did follow-up work on the ground and identified Gaussians, exactly what we wanted to see, where the VMS poke out of the ground right underneath these VM, uh, v VTEM targets. And then finally, we did ground gravity. And we have strong, that's, that's what the color palette is. We see strong gravity right where they should be under these uh, Gaussians and by the VTEM, both at Terra and Anguda North. They're high priority targets they'll be drilled this year. It gets a little repetitive here, but two more targets. Uh, on the left is Inda, located on the northwest part of our project. Uh, we were drawn to this location because it has strong VTEM. Whoop. Keep doing that. Excuse me. Had a strong VTEM. And on the follow-up, the Greek VTEM, we found Gaussian on the ground, and then we did ground gravity, and the gravity was right where it should be. Same thing at Hamlo. Hamlo is 40 kilometers to the, to the northeast of, of Inda, along the same trend, same signature. VTEM conductor, ground gravity, and it pokes out of the ground. So once again, we're extremely confident that we're going to hit on these things. Um, in summary, 2024, our focus is, well, first, returning to work. We announced in early February that we are returning, including drilling, in the first half of the year. Uh, we expect to have further news in more details uh, very soon. Um, and we'll outline what our more detailed plans are for 2024. And it'll be focused on new discoveries at Hamlo and Gouda North. We'll be testing Meta, Terror, Inda, and Gabbett. And um, we'll also continue with our, our target definition to continue to develop new targets. Uh, we have done a great job. We're proud that we've preserved our cash through these tough times. We have $6.4 million in the bank. With that, we can fully test these targets and we expect to make new discoveries. That's, uh, that's it. Thank you. I'm happy to answer more questions after. Uh, we have a booth over here, but uh, thank you very much. Thank you.